Okay, folks, week three of uh, North American Corporate Chess League. I'm on board 41 today, playing against Oscar Ricaud. Let's uh, click there to play. I'll we'll wait for our friend to show up. I'll edit this part out. So. Okay, it looks like time has started, so we'll give them the good old good luck, have fun. And it seems like they've started. Ooh. This. I think what I play here is knight f6 and then play e6. If I go e6 first, then I have to be ready to play the French defense, and I don't like that. So I'm going to play here, and I'm going to see what they do. Oof. Okay, so now I think I play e6. It looks like they're getting ready for a London setup. That's fine. Again, the pre movement spooks me. But it's only 10 plus 2. i got to turn the sound down a little bit on this music so it doesn't freak me out. Busy, busy, busy week. Busy, busy, busy week. But that's okay. We're gonna get there. Nice time to focus in here. Swipe away the notifications on the phone. Turn it over so I stop fidgeting with it. And just hang out. Expect to see this. Maybe? And then a move that I can always consider playing at some point is C5, which I like to do. Then it kind of yields a little bit uh, Sicilian-y. Do they like have something going on? Un unclear. I expect my opponent to kind of like play a burst of moves and then disappear, and then play a burst of moves and then disappear based upon their current actions. But again, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Here takes takes, and then I can play d5 and just have a better position, right? More control of the center. Start with this, see what happens. Probably something like this is best, but it's okay. We can pre move this capture, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. There's nothing like a queen here check, because this pawn is defended. thinking here. This setup. Honestly, I might want to play something that traps this bishop if I can. That doesn't do anything. This knight, I think, wants to go here, and I think this bishop wants to go here. So again, then, if I trade and play here, am I getting on this diagonal fast enough? I, I think I am, and it prevents my opponent from playing here. They have to get the bishop out in this direction. One thing we have to remember is we do have to play d5 at some point, otherwise we're screwed. So let's take. I expect to see takes this direction. Yeah. And then here or here? What am I. I play there, then I expect to see this. Okay. Um, I can prevent that by playing a6. And then going here and playing this. That seemed fine. Or do I just want to get my bishop out in castle and we'll worry about playing this when the time is right? Again, when this comes, it'll it'll be okay. So yeah, we can get our bishop out to a good spot. In fact, if we go here, the knight has to come to one of these two spots, and we can just sort of live with that pin for a while. So let's do that. It's just a free developing move. And then wherever our opponent's knight moves, we get to castle. Sure. The other thing we can do is we can go here now. Strengthen this pin. If this comes, takes, takes, takes. So then the opponent would have to go here. Right? Feels right. Let's castle first. Let's castle first. Not afraid of this. I can still do this whenever I want. If I go there though, I have to trade this bishop for the knight. Though like this guy's bishop kind of sucks. Although like with my pawns on these light squares, this bishop's not in the greatest position. But that's okay. I want to take, uh, and if pawn takes, I can go knight here forking. So take, 
pawn takes in here, forking the pawn and the bishop, which is fine. The bishop just probably moves back, but then I can uh, set up additional pressure against this pawn with... Can't go queen there. Can go queen here, though. Attacking this and attacking that. So let's take... And then prepare to go here. And if rook takes, all the better. Then I'm actually forking. We can split our opponent's pawns. So now I can go here, we expect something like a queen here, and then we can take this pawn. Yeah, my opponent just never developed. This king being in the center makes it so easy to do stuff. So now I can take this. Rook can't go here because I just take it. And then if I want to come back, I can just come here or there, either of which is fine. So let's take a pawn. And then we're still in a position where we can take this whenever we want, unless my opponent loses their bishop right now. And if they do that, I'm just going to keep developing. This pawn is backwards, but I'm not, I'm not worried about it right now. My queen side is so strong. In fact, I've got here, here. It's, mm, not there. Here? Well, I can at least get my knight to here, causing more problems, these two knights. Superfluous knights, um, but them defending each other makes a big difference, actually. The other thing I probably have to do is play here. Again, if this bishop comes out. Questions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Take takes. Leaving an isolated pawn here. We have to be careful about this setup that's happening, but that's fine. Okay, let's take this. I recognize there's a bishop pointed at my king, which I don't love, but we get there when we get there. There to attack this, and if bishop takes here and queen takes, then that's fine. We traded pieces and I'm still up a pawn. So let's get this. Right out. I want to attack here. Okay, that's fine. So if I go here now, queen takes, knight takes, castles, knight here attacks the rook and this pawn. Uh, the rook can move somewhere. Hmm. I want to go here. I don't want to go here. Force the queens off the board. I have less space and I'm up material. So we can just pre move the take back. Gotta be careful of the time, but we still have plenty of time. Oh no, my friend. That loses you a pawn. Yet another pawn. Here I could just take the knight. Here, I can just, yeah, that doesn't, that's completely fine, actually. I just go like this. Now your rook's trapped. What am I supposed to be bothered by? Here, then we go like this. Actually, we probably go like this to get our bishop out. Now we gotta do this first. We gotta do this first. 
Not afraid of this square. Not afraid of this square. Our opponent plays very quickly. I'm curious who it is that they beat, but I'll be able to figure that out later. Hmm. A rating disparity, 230 points. Big but not insurmountable for our opponent. It appears that their rating has gone up a lot. Because they were supposedly rated a thousand something, which they take yearly chess rating and subtract 300. I was high 1600s, now I'm low 1700s, and they must have been more else. Also, have the option to go here. Just dancing. Let's start with this. And if you want to sacrifice in exchange for a pawn, be my guest. Yeah, the lack of space here sucks, but I'll take that for two pawns. And now I'd probably like to go here. Attack this, prepare to go there. I want to get my knight trapped, though. Actually, we can go here. Takes. Mm, we can't quite go there. How do I get this bishop out? If I go here, the knight's lost. Start with this. Attack this bishop. We can go there, and then we can push if we want. And then get ourselves to a better square. Yeah, the nice thing about moving our knight to a6 rather than a2 is they both attack a rook. Uh, sorry here and here, but this one is defended and uh, works with our setup plan, I think, a little bit better. Don't see the plan here, other than just maybe defending the bishop. Here takes takes the pawns are doubled and I still can't get out. Let's take this bishop. Yeah, and I'm tied in knots. Let's go here, so I can go there and there. The other thing I can then do is start to push this pawn. We should make ourselves a little bit of space as well. bother me, but then I think I play rook d7. I also won't like this, but that we can solve. Yeah, so now I want to play here and here. And then I can trade off all the rooks and then just win this two pawn up end game. Or so it would seem. Now I can go here, right? And I don't like fear you being here. You go there, I go here. Move this back and then we'll figure it out. I was debating if I wanted to move this pawn, but that doesn't seem right. 
here and there. Then I can trade off the rooks. Just gotta be patient. That seems like a mistake. Can't figure out what to do if he goes here, though. Oh, that pawn is poison. It's I can afford to give away one of the pawns, that should be fine. In fact, I can go here. You're gonna bolt those pawns, I'm gonna back rank you, mate. Okay, gotta speed up, gotta speed up, gotta speed up. Come on, Malcolm. Don't get distracted. Woof dog, he woofing. Don't woof, you woof dog. <laughs> All right, well, an anticlimactic finish. I'm curious uh, how this went. Real quick, real quick, you guys have got the real analysis. But... Okay, really, it's all the way even here. Wow, that was not as well played as I would have thought. Also, only minus two, really? Yeah, and in this circumstance, things are fine again. Fine, fine. Oh, then I gotta move the other rook there? Oh, you gotta go like this, so you can defend here. But again, what do I do if this happens? Is this a win for black? Yeah, it is. Okay, all right. I'll let you guys see the analysis. This game did not go how I expected it to, but that is fine. See you in the next one. All right, so in this one, we played 75.8. My opponent played 69.5, so reasonably pleased with that. No blunders on our end, so relatively smooth, relatively smooth. Um, which, you know, from the black side, we'll take. Um, that being said, like, all right, I don't know that we were in a great position for for at least parts of this game. But yeah, you know, we take what we take. I'm probably like a 1450, so that's around the actual rating that I am. And I played a, a game that's above my strength, 1600. You can see the real Delta here is in the middle game. Anyways, pretty happy with that. Nice to get another W. Um, see you guys in the next game.